Okay, so here's a quick recap about data types. So in these videos at the moment, the only variable that you've really seen is a variable that's de uh, declared as a string. So as we know, a string is just a sequence of characters. So that could be letters, it could be numbers, or it could be symbols or special characters. And that's just stored in one line like a sentence. A couple of others that you probably commonly use are the integer. So an integer is a whole number. So where we've got dim my variable one as an integer, this my variable one will be able to hold any whole numbers. Um, so it ignores any decimal points there. So we could say that this is equal to 40. We could have a string also equal to 40 because it could be saved as a string, could be saved as an integer. But in this case, we'll just say that my variable as a string is hello. Okay, the next one we've got is a decimal. So a decimal similar to an integer, except the decimal you can hold fractional parts. So a decimal could be equals 2.8. A Boolean variable is a variable which can only be one of two things, and that's either true or false. So we could say in this case that this variable is going to be true. And finally, We've got my variable 6 as a char. Now a char is a single character. Okay, so we could have a char equals g, for example. Okay, a char is different from a string in terms of a char is just the one single character, whereas the string is a string of characters or a sequence of characters. If I was to write my variable 6 as a char equals hello, my variable 6 would only ever become equal to h because all we can store in that char variable is one character, so it will take the first one there. Now, we also discussed the difference between global and local variables. Now, all these variables are declared within our sub-main, okay? So we might have some programs, which are one of which I'll show you in a minute, where we've got more than one subroutine or function, okay? Variables which are declared within a subroutine or a function are local variables and they're local to that subroutine. So all of these variables here, like my variable 6, my variable 5, can only be used within our sub main code block. Okay. If I wanted to use these variables outside of this code block, one thing I could do would be to make it a global variable. So if I was to take this line here and put it outside of our sub main, <coughs> oops. This variable now here, my variable, would be available to be used in any subroutine or function. Okay, so it's global to the whole program. This is generally considered bad practice because global variables um, can be very prone to errors. You could change the value of a variable in one subroutine and it might af negatively affect what another subroutine is doing. So we try to avoid global variables generally. Um, as well as variables, we can also declare constants, which we've briefly looked at. <coughs> I could declare a global constant using the const keyword, and for example, I could call this pi, and set that equal to 3.14. Uh, notice I haven't given that a data type in there, which is not particularly good. Um, so I could say const pi as a decimal, which would probably be a little bit better. So now where we want to use our pi constant anywhere in our program, we can just type the word pi rather than having to type in 3.14. And the advantage of this is that if we needed to change the value of this constant, we'd only need to change it in one place. So for example, if you imagine you were creating a program where you needed to do a lot of calculations involving uh, a percentage of tax, we could have const tax rate as a decimal equals say 20% maybe, although we wouldn't write it like that, we'd have to write it as 0 0.2. If our tax rate was to then change, we could simply change our tax rate here, if it changed back to 17.5% for example, we could change it to 175, and that tax rate would then update throughout the whole of our program, rather than us having to go through our program and find every instance that we typed in 0 0.2 and change those to 0.175s. Similarly, we can have local constants, 
within our subroutines or functions, the same as we do uh, where we declare them globally up here. I'll declare this one as an integer equals 20 maybe. <coughs> Notice the little uh, green line you've got there. It's not an error, it's just a warning. It's telling us that we've got this variable called, ta sorry, this constant called tax, but we haven't used it anywhere yet. That'll disappear when we actually use that within our submain somewhere. Uh, so I hope that'll give you a bit more of a, an overview as to the differences between data types and constants and variables.